Dr. Wimberly, in the youth ministry literature, you'll, you'll see arguments running back and forth. What is more important? Uh, we must make sure that the youth are fully integrated into a multi-generational congregation and take care not to leave them as a one-eared Mickey Mouse hat segregated off by themselves. And then you'll see other arguments. Yes, they need to be integrated, but they should have the opportunity to be a body of Christ, to find their own style, their own relationships as a, as a congregation of peers. How do, you, how do you look at this offset of, uh, of contending views? Well, for me, it's not either or. It really is both and. In a peer worship environment, young people really explore how to do things on their own and in that respect gain leadership. They decide based on their interests and the kind of music they, they love, uh, what must be done or what can be done. They lead and in that way they really prepare themselves to be the church of today and the church of tomorrow. So those peer environments are absolutely important for them. It's also an extension of the high-tech world that they're in, which is a peer group culture experience for them. And on those, uh, they, they, they really provide for them alternative communities, alternative ways of being peer mentors, and that's important. So that one aspect I applaud. However, it also is important that they become a part of the intergenerational community, which really is the body of Christ. And we learn what the body of Christ is like by experiencing the body of Christ and being a part of it. So it is really critical that we invite, welcome, and involve young people in the life of the intergenerational community. In worship, there are so many ways for young people to be involved, and churches need not be reticent to do that using the adage that young people are the church of tomorrow and the leaders of tomorrow rather than the leaders of today. That's absolutely a false assumption. Young people can be ushers, liturgists, dancers, mimers, steppers, singers, and we also know of instances where the youth were the ones who sat in the pews with the younger children to monitor them and show them what was important to do in worship. On the other side, it's important for the adults in the intergenerational worship environment to know what's important for the youth and be open to learning from them and participate with them. Uh, one of the hot button issues in uh, intergenerational worship happens to be in music. And so we see uh, different worship services organized <laughs> so that we cater to one type of music in one service and another type of music in another. And I think that as the body of Christ, if we model what that is, we learn something of what every one of us has uh, that's important to us. In that way, we tap into one another's stories. Uh, I might also tell you a story of a doctoral student of mine who did uh, a dissertation uh, around the whole topic of, of the music wars in the church. And what he did was to organize a series of family night dinners. And at those family night dinners, he had the young people to teach the adults one of their songs. But they, it was not just teaching the song. They had to tell a story around why that particular song was important to them. What did it mean to them? Mm -hmm. And suddenly, the adults got some insight, mm. not only into the music that they love, but why it was important. And at that point, the youth could teach the adults one of their songs or a couple of their songs and they could sing it together. The opposite thing was that the adults were asked to teach the youth one of their songs, a hymn, and that was done each in the successive uh, family night dinners. But they couldn't just teach the song before they taught it. They had to tell their story of why that particular hymn was important for them. And so that got into uh, autobiography, uh, telling the story of their life journey, and that you could say, hmm, that's interesting. I never knew that story. And they really heard some stories from uh, their relatives that they did not know about. And suddenly the hymns made sense to them. 
and then they could sing the hymn together as an intergenerational group. We need more experiences like that so that we could really be the body of Christ.